few months after the inauguration of the Okezie Ikbazu led administration in 2015, Governor Ikbazu, through his amiable wife, Mrs. Nkechi Ikbazu, launched the Abia Free School Feeding Program on a pilot stage. With the federal government of Nigeria adopting it as a national program a year later, the governor of the state, Dr. Okezie Ikbazu, officially flagged it off on June 10, 2016 at Amapu Intiga Primary School, Isialangwa North Local Government Council. The federal government feeds pupils in public primary schools in Basic 1, 2, 3, but was, however, approved by the state governor for its extension to pupils in Basic 4 to 6, including the ones in nursery classes. First, we need to look at why we have lost faith in our education system. Again, the World Bank believes that if a household spends more than 25% of their income on school fees, that that household will perpetually remain in need. Remember, I'm creating a better life for my people. So I need more money in their pockets. So the only way to help them achieve that will be for me to find a way to bring them into the public school system. But if you are bringing people into the public school system, you must speak to quality, you must speak to infrastructure. So I said, okay, I'm going to latch on what the federal government is doing. They are feeding primary one to three. I'm going to do primary one to six. So um, I, I, we started feeding primary one to six. And today we have reversed enrollment to about 750,000. And through it, we, have, we are engaging 5,300 women cooking. Yeah, when we saw that um, the federal government is doing one to three, the state government decided to include four to six. But there's no way you go and feed one to three in the same school and leave four to six. And uh, this is to encourage our children who cannot afford a meal before coming to school to feed. And um, there has been an increment in the number of pupils in the schools. We operated the Abia Primary School um, launch program from March 16th, 2016 until 2017, when they, in 2018 precisely, at uh, Mobakala Primary School, governor extended on his own the four to six and his reason was that there's no way you can give a child in from one to three food and you cannot give four to six that it will cause problem and therefore he decided that we should include four to six that is how we are now feeding so it is only in other state that all public primary schools take uh, lunch every afternoon with the program ongoing in the state before its adoption by the federal government, it wasn't difficult for Governor Ikbazu and his team to effectively oversee its smooth commencement using the structures already put in place. Since then till date, the program has contributed immeasurably and immensely towards the socio-economic development and growth of the state as about 655,000 pupils in 1,030 public primary schools in the state are currently being fed between the five working days of the week beside the holidays with 3,050 vendors engaged in cooking and serving of these pupils. My governor, Dr. Okeze Victor Ikbazi, since the inception of this feeding program has been trying everything he has to make sure that every child in the school is being fed. Governor Okeze Ipazo, PhD, has been a very kind man. He is educational friendly. In Abia State, he has made education very interesting. In fact, pupils now love to go to school instead of hawking around. And parents feel very proud of our amiable governor because of this feeding program that is going on in our schools. Even during pandemic, we have been coming here to lift food items, to bring soccer to the school children, courtesy of Governor Okeze Ibazo and his dear wife. 
the feeding program yeah. of our governor, Dr. Kesey Pazo, is something that has touched the entire school system. One, he appreciated the importance of feeding because nutrition is a vital uh, agent of uh, development. So when the children are not well fed, I wonder what happens in the school. So he touched that area that is most touching. And that was a point of attraction to the students, to the pupils. When you come to the school, you see the expression of the students, pupils, when this food is being shared. You know that they really appreciate. They, you hear them talk, blessing the governor and the wife, appreciating him, because most of them are really are finding it difficult to eat at home. So when they come to school and uh, embrace this food, they are happy. And uh, I'm bold and proud to say that the flag government copied it from other states. I am very, very happy, sincerely happy, because of what the governor has been doing and is, con and, uh, is doing continuously too. We are here to carry food stuff to the children. In fact, when I told some of the cooks, and uh, yes, that I'm going to Omaha today to bring soccer to them to continue the cooking, most of them started jubilating and they were all very, very happy because of what the governor is doing. I feel so excited. Since I was appointed as the Education Secretary of Isia Langwa North, the school enrollment in my local government has increased by double. When I came in, I had about a thousand plus in enrollment, but today as I'm talking to you, I have up to 5,000 plus pupils in my local government. It's a very big motivation. I want to emphasize on a particular thing that is health. The children of Fodimba precisely, they no longer fall sick in the school. Because before, from time to time, a child may fall sick and you carry the child home. But now, because of the food, the quality of food they eat, they no longer fall sick. So that is courtesy of our uh, governor, Dr. Kizik Mahazu. Oh, the school feeding program in Abba South, it has been a wonderful thing. Because in Abba South today, the school enrollment are increasing day by day. To the extent that this time I have opened up three schools this time. One of my school on Tuesday, this week make it three weeks. And because of that, that three weeks, the population is 116. Umokwaji Migrant School, precisely, let me call the name, so that someone can go and investigate. It's because of the school feeding program. So it has made a very big impact in Abasa local government. Parents are very happy. Not the children alone, parents, because it is now a big relief. Their children coming to school with their flags to pick food every day, five days in a week. I must say that the governor is a pest setter. These children that eat this food, you know, after break, the children formerly used to be weak. But because of this food program, they are refreshed, going in to learn more. It helps them to understand more. Well, I, I would say, I must say that we are happy with the system because it has been helping us a lot. And it has been a very good program. Population booster has its health advantage on the children. And then it has been helping parents carry the load of their children, at least taking away one meal from the home of a poor mother is an advantage. Dr. Okezi Bazo has done a lot of wonders in that local government. Now, many children, even those that have gone to private schools, are back. Last year, I created six new schools in Omaha South, with not less than 2,000 pupils, as I speak to you now. It's a good one. Parents are happy, and on the women's side, it has, you know, created employment. In my own local government, you know, they produce gari. Children can eat gari throughout the whole month. They don't know what is, they don't know what is beans, they don't know what is uh, rice or changing diet. But now, they can change diet. You can see that when they go to school, they have been fed with uh, rice, beans, vegetable, eggs, and it makes them look very healthy. In my local government, it has brought tremendous development and growth. Do you know that women, even without certificates, are now employed? They get money, they get paid monthly to do this work. Those of them that were doing menial jobs are now concentrating 
on what governments can do and they're all happy. And our children will now have population from primaries four to six. Nobody thinks of these private schools at work or this or that. They have all come back because many parents, they may not be able to provide three square meal a day, but when they come to school, no matter the quantity of food they eat in the morning, they come to school, they will be fed very well. Then when they go, courtesy of Governor Okeze Ibazo, the vibrant governor of Abia State. In addition, the program within the period under review has become a major enabler towards rapid school enrollment, which accounts for the 40% increment recorded in the enrollment of pupils into public primary schools in the state in the last six years of the life of the scheme. Apart from saving parents the cost of providing lunch for their children, especially during this period of economic downturn, the program has become a vehicle to drive the standardization and balancing of meals for our children as these pupils are served adequate meal per day for five days in a week with varieties ranging from beans, jollof rice, plantain, potato, moi moi, yam porridge, egg and vegetables to help boost their nutrition. Whereas, the cooks are recruited from the local community where the school is located for proximity. Suffice it at this juncture to say that the program has contributed to thousands of job creation and a significant means of income for both the cooks and our local farmers. The benefits are in chains with their ripple effects. Economically speaking, the program attracts a whooping sum of about 450 million naira monthly into the state economy, which is outside its multiplier effect on the life of the pupils, the cooks, the farmers, increased enrollment in our public primary schools, and a significant respite and reduction of burden on the parents. We want to appreciate our governor who brought this program, you know, Maya, Dr. Okay, Zay Victor Ibazo. We want to appreciate him very well for bringing this program. If not this program, I don't know what would have happened to us. And as we started the program, the program has changed many of us, our lives. This feeding program has helped me a lot in my family. Because it has helped as kind of helping me feeding my, my, my children. They also give us a lot of food and the food is delicious. We enjoy the food every day. Governor Kesi Pans, I want to say thank you for the food that he gives to us. It's a free gift for us and so we are here to say thank you. Yeah, thank him that the food you are cooking for us say, is delicious, then we like it. I am here to thank the governor that took a deep bath the PhD for the meal he has given to us. I'm here to say to him that let God bless him, let him continue to be given us this food in the name of Jesus. I'm here to thank our governor for the food he provides for us. And whenever I remember that they used to cook food for us, I rush to school very early. And the food they cook for us is very good. I also thank you for them putting for us food that will benefit us whenever we go home, even though we not eat and come to school. The food they put for us to benefit us. My God will continue to bless them and put protect him in Jesus' name. Amen. I think he's the best governor for now. He's a kind man, loving education to the core. He's a friend to every child at the school. There have been school uh, increase in school enrollment. They are eating balanced diet. And uh, you know, the food is homegrown. So we are encouraging the, our local farmers to produce more of the food. I want them to continue to go to school and get focused so that they can succeed in life. Project 030, the Abia State School Feeding Program.